Hey, what's good? I'm Eleni and welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from shopping and buying some things for Leo because I need a lot of cool stuff and I decided to stop by Starbucks and I got myself, I think it's the Almond Milk Honey Flat White Latte and I also got him, it's a puppuccino, I wish they had kitty chinos, um, basically all it is is whipped cream but I know dairy products aren't good for cats so I'm only going to let them have like a little lick of it. I just thought this, this little Starbucks cup that they get for like dogs and cats is just adorable though. Here, come here. Let's see if he'll eat it. I don't even know if he likes whipped cream, but he tries to eat all of my food. He's tried to eat my black bean burgers. He's tried to eat pasta and bread, which I don't let him do. I don't even think he wants it right now. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got for my cat, Leo. So obviously I did not have everything that I needed for a cat, so I went out shopping today. That's why I just got home and I also ordered a lot from Amazon that just came in. So I'm going to be doing a cat supplies haul. And he already has seen two um, enjoyed a lot of his toys that I already got him, but I also bought him a surprise Christmas present that I want to open up with him and see if he likes it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. In a previous video, I had told you guys about the cat bed that I had Impulse bought in. Um, before I even planned to have a cat because I didn't think I was gonna get one to the spring So I wanted to show you how cute it is. He goes in it sometimes, but I do think he prefers to sit on my lap instead But I had gotten him Hang on. I got him this swinging cat bed. It's basically on a hammock and um And it reminds me of one of those, like the big swinging hammock chairs that people have. I think it's really cool and it matches the aesthetic of my apartment. So this is probably my favorite thing that I got for a cat, but he's not really used to it yet. And he also would rather sit on me and blankets and my bed <laughs> versus his own bed. But I guess that's just how cats are. Another thing that I had gotten him is this he already started to use it i got it from amazon but it's a cardboard cat scratching post and it just lays flat on the floor and he's already done some pretty bad damage to it but that's okay because he's, he's doing it to this and not my furniture i do not mind these things are like cheap it was like eight dollars i think definitely a good deal something else that i got that i thought was really cool is his water fountain it basically, um, <laughs> Leo, it basically has a filter on it and a fountain, so the water is never going to be stagnant, and it just recycles its water while filtering it through and pours it out beautifully like that. I also really like it because it's LED, and it's blue when the water is at a good level, and it's supposed to turn red when the water is too low. So it looks like Leo has already found his toy basket, I got him this basket to put all of his toys in and normally what he does is he just goes and grabs one out to play with. We'll see what he grabs. Okay, so he got what he grabs this one out all the time. I think it's his favorite toy that he has so far. It is this little weasel that makes like, it's a weasel or ferret that makes like little chirping sounds. What do you got? This is the ferret that I was talking about. It's like this long, this long furry white thing and he really likes to drag it around. It's honestly the funniest thing when he's carrying this huge toy around because he's not little, but he's not big either. And basically when you pull it,
it makes this chirping sound. I just thought it was sweet. I got this from um, Target actually, and it has just those pretty little bows on it, and I like the color. Another toy that he just pulled out, um, he kind of already started his hair up, which I'm a little bit sad about, but it's Toto's Paca. So it's a little um, vodka bottle, but for pets, and it has crinkling sounds in it. It's definitely really cute, but I'm sad. He already destroyed this. Like, look at the top, and he's ripping the stuffing out of it and everything. But it's definitely a sweet toy. I'm, I actually ordered this on Etsy, and I think it is adorable. I also got these little catnip fish. It's basically compressed catnip in a toy. Um, he hasn't really destroyed it too much, but he does like to lick it. And then he has a little lamb chop toy. And of course, pieces of sushi. So we have a sushi roll, shrimp and rice, and I, this is probably like salmon over rice. So sushi and sashimi. Um, there's also another another piece of sushi, but I don't know where it is. It's already gotten lost. He's only had these for like two days and we already lost one, but it's probably somewhere in my apartment. So I just keep all of his toys in this little basket that I got from Hobby Lobby and he can pull his toys out as he pleases. So this is his Christmas present that I got him. This is from Target as well. It's a stocking full of cat toys. And I don't think you guys can tell already, but his theme, everything of his is going to be like a light baby blue or like a teal blue, but just in a blue color. I know the stocking is green, but there's a lot of blue toys in this stocking. So I wanna open that up with him. All right, Leela, let's open up your stocking together. It's a crinkle fish. And we have a furry mouse. Here you go. And I'm just gonna dump everything out onto the floor. <laughs> we also got a little bird, which that's actually adorable. I love the bird, so here you go. And then the rest are basically just jingle balls, but I love the colors. Um, I'm just gonna put them all here for him. He's probably gonna be overwhelmed with the amount of toys. I actually really like this one. This is very pretty. It's like a greenish blue with gold. There you go. <laughs> um, and he also got a wand with balls on it so it unties and it's like one of those fishing pole toys hey leo he also right now has on his light or his like teal tiffany blue cat collar on um i love how he's just like chilling right now with all of those toys on him He wants, is this what you want? Oops. Hey Leo, is this what you want? Did you lose this? Leo, you're such a sweet kitten. I think he's a little overwhelmed with all of these toys. Also, he's kind of relaxing right now, but what a sweetie. Do you like your presents? <laughs> now all of his toys have 
landed on the floor and he's probably gonna be playing around with them forever now. So he's actually under the couch right now with a ball. I'm gonna put all of these back. Next up, I'm going to be going through this little baby blue tin that I bought from Hobby Lobby and I'm keeping all of his like supplies in there, like his brushes and his treats and his leash. Yes, I got him a harness and a leash so we can go on walks. I actually have tested that out. All right, so let me open it up. I, of course, sticking with the blue theme, like I told you guys, this is his harness and this is his leash that's attached to it. I actually have walked around with him around my apartment complex and also in my apartment. He does, he's getting trained on it. He does okay. Of course, he's a cat, so he's not gonna walk necessarily straight in how I want him to, but he walks normally. He's not like super awkward about it. Hey, what do you want? I don't know if you could see his little ear. He's trying to get in. Um, also for his canned food, I bought these little rubber latex or whatever rubber lids on Amazon and they came with matching spoons so that way when I open up a canned food and I don't give that him all of it you can just seal the lid on it and that way it doesn't go bad. I actually really like this product because I don't feed even with my old previous cats I don't feed them a whole can when it's like this size of a can I feed them um, I feed them like half of it. All right, I also have his little hairbrush that I've started to use and I need to clean out. I like it. And his nail clippers, he actually has let me trim his claws a little bit so they're not too sharp. A whole bottle of catnip. And these are the bags that I use to, you know, Put his, put his waist in from the litter box. Actually, I also got these treats. They're called feline greenies. They're catnip flavored and they are to clean his teeth. He wants his toys. He's very curious. He actually, I'm really happy that he goes through the toy box or the toy basket by himself because this way I can put all of his toys away and I don't have to worry that he won't have anything to play with. Unfortunately, he does not put them away, but that's okay. What? What do you want? So the last thing I got him, I bought on Amazon and it is his litter box. Normally I wouldn't show a litter box, but I haven't actually set it up yet. But guys, it is so cool. And it's a disguised litter box. So it's basically, I'll show you in a second, but um, basically I have, I live in an apartment, so I don't have too much extra space. And I didn't want to have to look at like an ugly litter box on the floor. So I got something pretty cool. All right, so basically, hey. This is his litter box, and it's disguised as a potted plant. But pretty much, I just have the opening facing the wall, so you can't really tell. And right now, um, I don't have the litter in it because I literally just got it and set it up, and it looks beautiful, but I gotta you gotta get it all ready for him because right now he's just using an ordinary litter box. But like, how cool is this? It's a plant. I've actually never been more impressed with how something looks from Amazon. But I'm down. Leo has actually already like sat in it. He kind of acts like it's a bed. So that's, at least I know he likes to go in it. All right, and then that was everything that I have gotten Leo so he can be comfortable in my apartment. He also is tired of me forcing him to be held like that, obviously. So now he got everything he needs and he's very comfy living in my apartment and I think he's been pretty happy here. So if you like this video and you like um, pet this pet 
Supply Haul. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You're also probably going to see a lot more of Leo on my channel now that he's a part of my life. So you can look forward to that. See you next time.